everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel and today's tutorial we're going to decorate this little uh, inexpensive $1 wood frame from Joanne, from Mixime Michaels. These are $1 and they're different shapes. Um, and I just made this one in this shape. You can also get some thicker ones but you would just need to put more rows of flowers. And I really like this because it just makes a quick inexpensive gift. The frame was a dollar. This the crepe paper I got this crepe paper for a dollar at the dollar store. And there's it, you can see that I didn't even use not even one row. It comes with two rows, and then of course whatever amount of glue you use in your hot glue gun, and the little stretch, the little piece of ribbon. And so then for less than five dollars, you have a great gift. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe and let's get the party started. Okay everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel. To begin today's tutorial, you're going to need um, to get a couple little frames. It could be styrofoam or wood. I got these at Michael's um, for a dollar. They're the unpainted ones. Um, they don't have a plastic um, cover, but you can actually make one with uh, uh, using this uh, back as the uh, the template for your photo and for maybe a little plastic sheet to cover your your um, frame and then you could either stand it this way or use these holes and then stand it up they also had some that were shaped like little hearts and then this is another square one so you could get some with a thicker um, a thicker frame or smaller frame it's totally up to you these are a dollar each then you're going to need some of this crepe paper for that you use for streamers and parties this is a crepe streamer. I got this um, this package with two rolls for a dollar at the dollar store. It's called the dollar store. Then you're going to need a glue gun. Okay. I always use the ones that have a low temp because I tend to burn myself even when I'm trying to be careful. You're just going to need maybe a ruler to measure some of your pieces. And then just something to... Um, I have this... Uh, the place that I'm working on is just a mat there and I'm also going to use that as a measuring place for my streamers when I start cutting them out. So one will be cut, some will be cut from here, the measure, and then the other ones across that little base mat there to give me two different sizes. If you want to do them all one size, you can. Sorry about that guys. So what you're going to do like here, I've already cut several of these and all you need to do is get your streamer. I'm going to be cutting them and just you just tear them with your hand like this to this other side of the ruler and just cut a bunch of them and now the other one I'm going to cut some larger sizes too to stick in between and that one's going to go across the other end okay so I'm just going to do a few of them I'm going to cut a bunch of strings um, probably like 25 or more and then um, just to show you how to do it so once these are, I have my long strips in one pile and my shorter strips in, a knee, in another, okay? So you're just going to get your streams of paper here and you just grab them in your hand and you're just going to crush them to give them a little bit of shape. Just maybe two or three at a time. Just squish them up like that. And it's going to give your, your little flower petals a little bit more texture. I'm going to take them apart like this now. On my screen um, will be crunchy like this. See? So once you do that to all of your uh, flowers, you can start I like to make a, quite a few, maybe 10, 15 of my flowers first and then I start attaching them to my frame. If you want to paint the frame, you can paint it pink if you're afraid that some of the flowers might show underneath but you can just start um, putting them a little bit closer together. Once you have your 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 strips this way, I'm going to have some that are sh uh, shorter than the other ones. You're going to get your strip. See how it's been crumpled up? And now once you do that, you're just going to get one little edge here. Just go down a little bit like that. And I'm just going to fold it there. Okay? So I'm going to do that to my strips, all my strips. And then I'll be ready to start glue, hot glue gunning them and shaping them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to several of my strips and then I'll come back and I'll form my first flower. Okay, once you've done a lot of your strips here, I have to warn you I'm not that good with a glue gun. I know some people are like super good with them. 
um, not me. So anyway, you're just going to get your strip and the piece that you folded down here, I'm going to use this to the outside. Okay, so to get it started, um, like I said, I'm not that good with the glue gun, so I hope you guys will bear with me as I get glue everywhere. I'm just going to get this little edge and put it kind of like, maybe fold it down a little bit on itself, okay? And now you're just going to get your glue gun. I'm trying to do this while I hold the tripod here in place. And you're just going to basically put a little light strip of glue. It doesn't have to be really thick or else it's going to make a mess. So once I do that, I'm going to fold this down like this to get it started. Can you see that? And once I get it there, and then I'm going to start rolling it up shut. For the first rolls, I'm just going to do it like this, okay? Just to get it going there. Okay, so you see how it's shaping there. Can you see that? Let me see if I should move this a little bit further or closer. And once you start getting the first few rolls going, once I put a little bit of strip here, I think I put too much there, but anyway, you're just going to start shaping it and kind of even like crimp, kind of wrinkling it up like this, just to give it a shape, okay, like a flower. You know how some of the flowers are kind of wrinkled like that? And I did put too much glue there, just going over itself, shaping it there. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the glue, but it doesn't seem to be working. So we're just going to shape it. And I think it works better when you don't put too, too much glue on there. And then here, you can start like fanning it here, like kind of like, I guess it would be like gathering it, right? See how you can just kind of gather it to make it shape more. Okay, I got glue on my fingernails. I don't know how I did that. Guys, so here it's starting to shape. Just kind of grab it there. I'll put a little bit more there. I think I'm putting too much glue on and it's getting stuck on my fingers, which is not a good thing. So I think some of you are probably a lot better at glue gunning than I am. So yours will be like perfect. And if you're not good at it, then you could say, hey, she could do it, and she's not good at using her glue gun. I guess I, sh I stayed away from using the glue guns for such a long time because I burned myself really bad, and I kind of got scared. So that is just like basically just rolling it around. Jeez, I can't believe how much glue I have on my fingers. So I'm going to make some with the short strips, and I'm going to make some with the long strips, okay? So I'm going to have two different sizes. And your flowers are just really starting to take shape there, but it's not really like super perfect here. Okay. Once I have that, I got my frame here and I'm just going to be gluing them on there. And then I'll come back and do a second row. So see, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can see my flowers are there and move away. So then I'm going to do one row in the inside here. Then I'll come back. Once I've done that row, I'm going to come back and hit my second row down here. And that's why I said if you want to paint it pink or whatever color, you can. But it's really not going to show that much. So you can see your flowers are starting to bunch up. So I'm going to come back when I have a whole bunch of them. The way I did it here, all you're going to do is put a little bit of glue. It doesn't have to be a lot. Get your flower. Once it's a little bit dry, you can shape it up. My fingers are kind of sticky right now with the other glue. And then you're just going to lay it kind of just like that, okay? Just to grab the glue there. And it's going to start looking this way. I don't have really good light in here today. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do more flowers. I'm going to come back and then we'll glue more around. And then I'll show you how it looks when it's done. It's a really easy project, even though I make it look super messy. Um, and uh, then we'll come back and see what that looks like. Okay, as you can see, I've been putting some of the flowers around the frame and it really comes out really pretty. When you see the flowers like this, they don't look that impressive because they just look kind of messy. So what I've done here, I'm just face doing two rows, like I said, one row here in the middle and then the other row in the bottom. And so what I do is that one of these flowers, I'm facing them this way. And then as you work your way around, you could just adjust them. 
So here, like um, on this part here, then I would just do the do the first um, place of flower in the middle inside first. So here you just get your flower and you can shape it whichever way you want and just kind of place it there. Okay, and then there you have one there, and now you could do the outside one after the inside one. I just think it works a little bit better. This one might need a little bit more glue, so I'm going to put a little bit more glue to glue itself together. And then, uh, here, let me edge that there. Then on this side, then I'm going to put glue along that wooden part there. Then I could get my other flower and just place it there. You're just gluing along. And it's just shaping that little reef. And I know it doesn't really look that good on the screen here, but it looks so cute in person. And in, 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 uh, once you do it, um, I'm gonna. I had let the little sticks in so that I could have it stand up and dry, because in that way I know how far to put my uh, my flowers here so they don't get smashed up. If you want to, you could also hang it up by putting um, one of those little hangers here putting a little ribbon and then you can hang it up on the wall and they will come up really big really pretty so that's basically all you do is just continue to put your flowers make as many flowers as you need and just glue them on here and there's really no rhyme and reason you just kind of place them and adjust them how you want there's my next flower then I need to put another one here so I'll get another one of my flowers and stick it in there and you could see like this way it would look not good so just kind of adjust it there and there goes my next flower so it just it just looks really scrunchy and then if you like you can make them even tighter whichever way you want um, you can also if you don't want to do them with the crepe paper you can buy actual plastic flowers I just think this is really neat because the frame was a dollar the paper was a dollar. Maybe you're going to use two strands of glue. I don't know how much. So maybe like three, four dollars. You're going to have a really pretty picture frame. And it's a great gift. You could also just, you know, take your little sticks out there. Just put them there. Wrap it in a nice little uh, package for a baby shower or something like that. You could put your flowers um, pink or red or white, whatever you want to do. And then just put in a cute little picture frame there. And if you don't want your flowers to be pushing up that much, then you could just bend them back here. And then that way you won't sh your uh, picture will show better. Anyway, this is how all you're going to do. I'm going to come back and show you the finished frame. And like I said, you can use them in any kind of frame like this. I'm going to keep this template because I'm going to cut the picture to make sure that it fits there. And then the picture will be there in the back. And it looks, I mean, so much nicer than just a wooden... Uh, plain frame and uh, I just think it looks really cute. I'm going to come and show you how it looks when it's all done Okay, I finished making my frame here. Then you would just put your picture there As you can see it looks really neat the tighter you roll up your um, Paper it'll look more this way and then the looser then it'll just be fluffier So I finished doing this and this is for a little girl obviously as you can see so I just got a ribbon here and just tied it into a little bow. I'm going to turn it around and put some glue here in the back there. I'm going to get my glue and my ribbon and put it just there. I'm just going to glue it there in the top. So I'm going to get a little bit of glue. And uh, hopefully you'll be neater with your glue than I am. I'm not really good at the glue gun. I try not to use it. So here is the finished little frame. I think it looks really cute for less than $5. I think it's a great little gift. It's hard to kind of tell, but you can see that it does. it is shaped like the little flowers. Can you see that? So it just looks really pretty. And these um, are always at Michael's for a dollar, these frames. And so now you can just do this. You could also put it on a styrofoam ball and make a little, um, uh, what do you call it, a like a little just a little tree or something but i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to subscribe hit the like button and share it with your friends thanks and have a great day